It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to add music to Google Slides. So, Google Slides is a really cool presentation service by Google, and it's a bit like Microsoft PowerPoint, but it's online and it's part of Google Docs and everything. So, if you're making a presentation in Google Slides, you might want to add some music to make it a bit, bit more interesting or something. So, if you want to add music in this episode, Timmy's going to show you how. So, first of all, you will actually need to make sure the music is uploaded to your Google Drive. So, in Google Slides, you can't directly upload it from your computer to Google Slides. You have to actually upload it to Google Drive and then have it played from Google Drive. So, you'll need to go to drive.google.com and you'll need to make sure you're signed into the same account that you're going to be using for your Google Slides presentation. It can't be a different account. So, then, once you've done that, you'll need to upload the music file so you can click on new here and click on file upload or you can just drag the music file straight in here and as you can see it's now uploading the music file so you just have to wait a second for that to happen. So now the music file is uploaded to your Google Drive so that's really cool but there is one slight problem if you want to share the slide to someone else. So if you add music to a slide and share it to someone else if that other person doesn't have access to the music file then they will not be able to play the music on the slide. They can still look at the slide, but the music won't work. So two ways that you can fix that. If you know there's just one person you're going to share it to, then you can easily just share this music file with them via Google Drive, and then that will work. Or another way, if you're sending it to a lot of people or you're not sure who you're going to send it to, you just need to right click on this music file in Google Drive and then click on Get Shareable Link. And now this gives access to the music file to anyone who has this link. And you don't actually have to copy this link or anything. As long as link sharing is turned on, then anyone who has access to the Google slide will hear the music. So that's all you need to do. So now you can go back into your Google slide presentation and you'll need to come up here to insert and click on audio. And now it'll bring up all the audio files in your Google Drive. So they'll all just be sitting here like this. So you'll need to remember the name of it. So this is the one we just uploaded. So click on the one you want and then click on select. And now it will add the audio file to the Google slide. So now the audio file has been added here and you can see this icon here and you can click on play here if you want to hear it. So once you've added the audio here, if you click on it, so it's selected, then you'll have some options. So if you click on format options here, the first thing is audio playback, so you can change when it will start to play. So by default, it will play on click, which means you'll need to actually click on the audio button in order for it to start playing. So that can be a good option in some instances, but if you want it to just play throughout the entire presentation or even the entire one slide, then automatically will be the best option. And then you can choose the volume. So by default, it's set to maximum volume but you might want to lower it down a bit if you want it to just be sort of background music. And then if you chose automatically up here, you'll have the option to hide the icon when pre presenting. So that means when you're presenting the presentation, the icon here where you're clicking will not show up because you don't really need to click on that icon or anything. So it can be a good option if you're doing it automatically. And if you set it to on click up here, then you will not have this option because you'll need to click on the icon in order for it to play. And then we have loop audio, so if it's a really short audio track or if it's a really long presentation, then you can tick loop audio and that will mean when it gets to the end it will start playing again. So that's probably a good option depending on what you're trying to do. And then we have stop on slide change. So by default when you go to the next slide in the presentation it will stop playing the music. So that can be a good option in some instances, but if you want to keep playing throughout the entire presentation, then you can uncheck that box and now it will keep playing for the entire presentation. So that's really convenient as well. And then down here you have recolor options. So by default, it's no recolor, but you can click on recolor and change it to any of these colors you want. So if you are going to have the icon vis visible on the slide and you want it to look a bit nicer, you can choose a color like that and it might fit in more with your theme or something. So that can be a good option as well. And then down here you have adjustments, so you can make it a bit transparent if you want, so it's slightly see-through. So you, that, you can choose that, or you can make it brighter, 
if you want or more con contrast and stuff and then click reset if you're not happy with that so that's some more options and then you also have drop shadow so you can check that box and then that will give it a drop shadow so you'll see here it's sort of got a bit of shadow under it so it can be a nice styling effect if you want that and if you click on this drop down hour of drop shadow you'll get the color of the drop shadow and you can adjust the drop shadow a bit to make it better and you also have reflection down here which can be another option for making the styling look a bit cooler so then once you've done that all the settings have been done and you can go ahead and click on present and it will start playing when you start the slideshow or when you click depending on what you chose and it'll work pretty well and that's really all there is to it and as long as you have a link sharing enabled you can share this with anyone you want and the audio will still play so that's really cool as well so that's really all there is to it and if you found value in this video please click on the thumbs up button down below and if you want to see more videos like this click on the subscribe button down below and that'll be the end of this episode of tech time with to me